Okay, so let's carry on from uh, the main activity. So at this stage, we've got the main activity. I've got two buttons there and the buttons are only displaying a toast. So I'm going to delete the toast now because we're going to change that encoding later on. So I'm going to delete the toasts. And then we want to create a new activity. So how do you create a new activity in Android? I'm going to close down all the files now. So if I want to create a new activity, I'm going to go to my project folder, right click there, I'm going to say new, and then you go to activity, and you'll see there's an empty activity. So just click on that. It gives you this empty activity. I'm going to name it activity two, and then you can see it names the layout file for me automatically. Uh, you can see it says generate layout file. You should not click launch your activity unless you want to, to have this activity be the one that launches instead of the main activity. And then it's going to be backwards compatible. And there's your package name. And you can just say finish at the bottom. And now your new activity has been created. So now we've got activity two there with its layout file activity two XML. So you can see under your Java folder, there's a new Java file. And under your resources layout folder, you've got another file. And this one is the layout file. That one is your Java file. So for activity two, we're going to do the following. So for activity two, go to the relative layout or the, to, to the component tree. You'll see it's a relative layout. So we're going to go to the text property. And I'm going to change the relative layout there to a linear layout. I'm going to remove all of the paddings there and just add an Android orientation property that should be vertical. And we're not going to do a lot on this activity, but actually just showing to the user uh, that we've got something on the screen. So I'm going to add a, a text view. So just drag in your text view. I'm going to give it an ID TV. Let's just call it welcome. And then after setting the ID there, let's go to view all properties. We set the layout margin. Let me just open up this a bit. On the left, 15. There we go, 15. On the right, 15. And on the top, 15. And we're not going to put anything else there, so that should be fine. And then I've, uh, I go down, I'm going to go to the gravity property and set it to center horizontal. And go down and set the text style to bold and the size to 18. Okay, so then we've got a nice looking text view there. So if we open up our strings XML quickly again, so it's under your resources values strings XML, let's just add a property there for what we want to place on that text view. So let's just call it welcome. And we're going to say something like welcome to activity two. And then we're going to save. If I go back to activity 2's XML file, if I click on text view, let's just go to the text property quickly, right at the top, and you can just start typing welcome. It will pick it up and it will show welcome to activity 2. So on the activity 2 layout or the activity 2, we've got only one component that we want to show and that's this text view and it's called TV welcome. So let's just set that up in coding quickly. That is a text view. So we're going to have a text view there and we're going to call it TV welcome, the same as in the layout file. And then we're going to say TV welcome equals, that is a text view. Ah, oh, come on. And then we're going to use the find view by ID method r.id.tvwelcome. And then it's connected up in coding and later on we can do something with it so that's the only component we want to have on activity 2.java so i'm going to close activity 2 now with the strings xml and let's create the third activity now so on your project folder you're going to right click new activity empty activity and i'm going to call this one activity activity 3 you can see it will generate the layout file for me with the same name and I'm just going to say finish there. Okay, so now we've got the main activity, activity 2, activity 3. Activity main XML, which is the main activities uh, layout file. Activity 2, which is activity 2's layout file. 
and activity underscore three, which is activity three is layout file. So op automatically it's been opened for as activity three and activity three dot Java. So if we go to activity three dot XML, let's uh, define how this one will look now. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit. So we've got an empty page here. And you see it's a relative layout. So go to text and let's change the relative layout to a linear layout. I'm going to remove the padding and I'm going to say it's an Android orientation and set it to vertical. Go to design and you'll see that it's now a linear layout, which is vertical. Now for this activity, we want to actually send through data, which we're going to do later on. So we're going to add a plain text again. And with the plain text, we're going to add a button. Right. And then click on the edit text quickly. Give it an ID. I'm going to say ET surname. Let's open up the strings XML quickly again. And we're going to have a hint for that one as well. So we're going to say hint underscore surname. And we're going to say, please enter your surname. And we're going to save. Go back to activity 3.xml. Text property, delete it. In the hint property, we called it hint surname. So just select it there. And it will start showing the hint that we've typed, which is please enter your surname. Click on that component again. Let's go to view all properties. Set the layout margin. On the left, 15, right, 15, top 15, bottom 15. And let's go down to the gravity property. And I'm going to set the gravity to be center horizontal. And then I think we are okay with this edit text. So the edit text at the top, ET surname, uh, looks fine. Let's click on the button quickly. For the button, margins on the left. 15, right, 15, and that should do it. Okay, so now the text on the button, let's go back to the strings XML. So let's say BTN, let's call it the submit button. And this one will just say submit, save it, go back to the XML file. On the text property, we called it BTN submit. Right, so we've got the text submit. Let's just change the colors of this button quickly again. So the text color, go down, it should be text color. And I'm going to choose the color as a hash with one, two, three, four, five, six Fs, which will make the text white. And if you go to the top, you'll see a background color uh, property there for the color. Start typing color. And we're going to choose color primary dark as in the previous activities. And now it looks like this. So for the button, click on it. Go to the top. Let's give it an ID. BTN submit. Okay. And then I think we've got everything set up for this one. So we're going to ask the user, please enter your surname. And then it's going to click on the submit button. So this one's ID, ET surname. This one, BTN submit. Let's set them up quickly in coding. So we have an edit text. And that edit text is called ET surname. And we've got a button. And the button will be BTN submit. Let's link them up quickly. So it's going to be ET surname equals this one is an edit text. Find the view by its ID r.id dot ET surname. And for the button, it will be BTN submit equals a button find the view by its ID and BTN sorry submit so then they are linked up and in order to make that button clickable I will say BTN submit dot set on click listener new on choose it from there and it opens up your on click listener uh, inline method. Okay, so now the activity is set up. We've got, let me just open up the structure on the left hand side. We've got the main activity all set up. Looks like this. Let me just open up all three of them. Mm, 
Okay, so there we go. So we've got the main activity that looks like this. So when we, we're going to ask the user, please enter your name. We're going to click go to activity two. It will open up activity two and show welcome to activity two. Then if we go back to the main activity, we can click on go to activity three. If we go to activity three, we're going to ask the guy to enter his name. If he clicks on submit, we want to take him back to the main activity and show his, his uh, name there. 